a unique event of sorts because I, I've been wanting to have something like this for some time and I guess in my mind I thought if it went, if it went past one year living here there's no point to having it. But then I realized that next Tuesday I'm going to be in the LA area 30 years. And I, um, the other thing was that 30 years ago tonight my political hero went away. And I, I thought this is a, the perfect day to have an event like this. Um, for a number of reasons, and so um, there. I guess all I can suggest is, as you people need something, ask somebody that can help you, and and, and we'll give you choices along the way, so nobody's left out in the cold, and uh, like that. So the last thing, I, the la I think the last thing I want to do, if I remember everything here, is I want to play a, about a one-minute sample of uh, somebody's voice who is very special um, from. From the uh, from 30 years ago. Well, I called you forth. I call forth that basic goodness that is there. I call you to risk the hard path of greatness. And I say to America, put aside recrimination. They don't talk about like this anymore, you know. Turn away from violence and hatred. Believe, believe in what America can do. And believe in what America can be. And with the mass, with the help of that vast, unfrightened, dedicated, faithful majority of Americans, I say to this great convention tonight, and to this great nation of ours, I am ready to lead our country. Well, anyway, that, uh... That was from 1968. Um, so there, I, 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 that was about the only piece, piece I could find that I thought was short enough and that that, that kind of covered the passion that he had. I, I could, I was looking all morning through these. Excellent. And uh, he, uh, Josie, I don't know when you came to the U.S., but he, he was uh, Johnson's vice president. Uh, I came before that. Okay. Larry. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to give away eggs here. Well, no, no, no. I, no it's not a, they dump an immigrant, you know. Right. Does it matter? Uh, well, <laughs> well, 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 we're all immigrants. Does it matter? I, I guess only in the sense. One way or another. If, you're, if, if people have to catch up on history, uh, how, do you, how do you do that? You know, if you, if you weren't here, you know. Yeah, that's true. Well, I was so. born after World War II, and I know a lot about World War II. That's true, yeah. Right. I, I, so, anyway, that's, that's the deal. Um, so I don't. I, I'm a Native American. <laughs> I didn't know you were from Cleveland. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but um, yeah, I seem like I had something else I wanted to say, but I don't even know what it is. So. Thank you, buddy. Well, I, generically, I did. I mean, it's, it, I mean, many many of you, this is your first time here, and. and, and um, that that in itself was a challenge. I mean, you know, considering it's the valley and you know how it is. But, uh, Finding it wasn't so easy either. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> yes, that's uh, an understatement. Well, I, I think one of the signs is it lit, right, or something? Is something that's odd about it? Isn't it? No, I thought he gave good direction. Yes. Yeah. Except that Steve told me I spelled Moore Park wrong. Yeah, you so. did. Yes, yes. I, okay, everyone knows that. That's okay. That's all right. I don't care. As long as yeah, I know what it know, is. For anybody giving oh, a I didn't, it, I didn't mean finding it today. No. Oh. I mean originally. Oh, yeah, that's right. See, you said, I, all you guys know, Josie was the real estate woman that I bought this place through. And, and, and I mean, we were driving from place to place to place, all kinds of different criteria. Finally, she says, look, the only way I'm going to make him happy is to put him in the valley. <laughs> Hey, I suggested that to you. Go to Sherman Oak. I told you that. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't want to do that. And, and Josie saw this place or knew about it. Yeah. There you go. How did you know Sheila? How, how did that? Uh, I knew Sheila from oh maybe 30 years before. And you saw the listing and you thought, gee, I knew this person. Uh, or how did you? No, I didn't know her. I didn't know it was her until I called on the phone. Oh. And I said my name, and she said Josie Marabuka. Like we hadn't seen each other for 20 years. Mm. Yeah. yeah, isn't that nice? It brought people together, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, well. Do you want to thank Claudia or do you want to thank... Oh, oh, okay. Uh, um, call, uh, okay, they're playing with the microwave. Um, 
the uh, Claudia here was the, the gal from the company that, that did the moving for me. It was very intricate with all the tapes and everything. You, know. you have no idea. I mean, they just kept labeling the box. They, they, they kept labeling the boxes Michigan, Michigan, over and over again. And you know, I have a hundred of those boxes. You know. Michigan? Because I'm donating a bunch of my my videotapes to Michigan State University once I can get them shipped. Yeah. They're still here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you said they won't pay for shipping. MSU won't pay for shipping. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're giving them something, they'll just make a difference. Well, then find another school that'll pay for shipping. Well, the thing is, that the, the reason that I wanted MSU to have them is because they put some of the stuff online. You can download the MP3s and some of the speeches and stuff, and I, I want people to have access. I don't want them to just sit in the library where somebody has to go in and make an appointment and hear them. I want people to be able to download them from home, you know? Send your free matter. Um, <laughs> that's been suggested. <laughs> I think it would get lost. I think it would get lost. Did you hear Bernie? No. Bernie speaks. Bernie speaks. Yeah. Um, Humphrey, you see. Yes. Oh. Well, which I did a recording. Yes, you said that at my 50th. Um, what, what, what did you do? What did you do for that? There was a film, a biographical short film, on Humphrey. Oh, and you, you don't have a copy? I don't think so. I'm not oh. sure. I have to look around. Oh. I do, I'll give it to you. Thank you. I don't recall. The producer, unfortunately, is no longer around. You know, I don't know. It, it, it was and Ronald, since you're taping everybody, you'll never be on the tape. I don't know what you could have Jimmy, so you can't. One day I call up K-Surf, that was, used to be a beautiful music station on 103.1, and, and I call up and I ask for the, engine, the chief engineer, and Bernie comes on the line. And I, I asked him the question. I said, I how come? The no, he wasn't. And I said, how come the 101.9 is so weak? He said, well, they're only 640 watts on, on Mount Wilson. You know, they've gotten an increase since then. <laughs> and um, and we, we're talking away, and, and then we hang up. And accidentally, some months later, I call up on his last day at that station. He says, I'm going to coast tomorrow or something. You know, and then I and you know, and then from coast he went to KZLA and then uh, some other places. KCET. Oh, the yeah. KCET for 20 years. Bernie was a big help to me at KCET. He would read me stuff in advance that I didn't know about. You know, when documentaries were coming up and stuff. You know.